Today we are going to learn how to prepare and balance your Ronin handheld 3-axis stabilizer. First, a brief walkthrough of what comes in the case's two foam layers. The top layer includes the battery, two quick releases, and the Ronin gimbal. The bottom layer includes the Ronin handles, remote, charger with international plugs, rods, dovetail plate, and tuning stand. The included tool bag comes with three hex wrenches, four camera screws, and the lens brace. Before setting up the Ronin, you must prep your camera. You will need everything that you will be using to operate your camera with. Your battery, storage media, lens, and anything else you wish to attach to your camera. You will also need the dovetail plate, the lens brace, camera screw, and a hex wrench. The lens brace is an important piece that should be used whenever possible, and we'll get to that in a bit. First, you must prepare the camera to be configured as it will be when mounted on the Ronin. Be sure to put your storage media and battery in your camera and remove the lens cap. Next, make sure you have your dovetail plate, hex wrench, dovetail screw, brace screw, and lens brace ready. Fasten the dovetail plate to the bottom of your camera and select a mounting hole. This may take some trial and error to find the proper hole depending on your camera's total weight. Fasten the dovetail screw to your camera with the hex wrench. If the body and lens of your camera allows for it, such as in the case of this 5D, install the lens brace by applying some pressure to the bottom of the lens and then fastening the brace with the brace screw. This is important to remember as a lot of DSLRs have a tiny bit of flex between the lens and the body. The lens brace eliminates this flex by adding that extra bit of stability to your camera. You then want to unfold the stand. The metal stoppers act as leverage for you to pull and release the arms from their joints and reposition them. We've made the top portion of the stand detachable in case you want to mount it to a C-stand. You then want to configure the Ronin handles the way you will use them in the field. First, place them on the stand and then reorient the handlebars by loosening the latches. When done, make sure the latches are secure. At this point, you can now attach the gimbal assembly to the Ronin's quick release on the handles. Just loosen the latch, hold the quick release button down, and slide it in. Make sure to tighten the latch. Next, we need to install the Ronin's battery. First, loosen the thumb screws at the battery's corners, then slide the battery into the battery compartment, making sure the battery is completely seated. Then, retighten the screws and secure the battery. To eject the battery, loosen the thumb screws and push up on the eject lever underneath. We've included two accessory clamps for the handlebar that you can use to mount monitors or other accessories. Place the accessory clamps where you think you will need them. Now for balancing. The first step is to insert your camera into the gimbal and perform a very rough front and back balance. Unlock the dovetail latch, slide the camera in, and move the camera forwards and backwards until you feel that it is neither too front heavy or back heavy. This only needs to be a rough balance. Lock the dovetail latch. Next, you want to balance the camera's vertical position on the gimbal. To do this, rotate the camera 90 degrees back. To test current balance, let it go. As you can see, it is currently too bottom heavy. To adjust, unlock both latches and move the camera up or down along the vertical bars. As you can see, the camera is now top heavy. Continue the adjustment until the camera no longer sways in either direction when you let it go. Next, we will balance the roll axis, which means adjusting how far left or right the camera needs to be within the gimbal. Currently, the camera is too heavy on its left. To adjust, loosen both knobs and move the camera left or right, then retighten. The camera is too heavy on its right. Readjust until the camera no longer moves after you let it go.
Now we will balance the front to back tilt axis. We did a very rough balance when we first put the camera in, but now we will revisit this axis. The camera is now front heavy. As before, unlock the dovetail latch and move the camera forwards and backwards until it is balanced. It is now back heavy. After adjusting, the camera no longer moves after we let it go. It's now front and back balanced. The last adjustment is balancing the pan axis. The pan axis makes sure the entire assembly under the pan motor is balanced to be not too front heavy or back heavy. To test, rotate the Ronin on the stand so that one side is higher than the other. We see here that the front portion with the camera moves from a higher position to a lower position. This means the Ronin is too front heavy. To adjust, unlock the two tabs on the pan axis knuckle and use the ratchet lever to either move the assembly forward or backward. Retesting, we now see that the Ronin is now too back heavy since the battery is now moving from a higher position to a lower position. The pan axis is balanced when either side does not move to a lower position when raised. After making these physical adjustments, you want to turn the Ronin on by holding the power button on the battery for one second. The gimbal should reorient itself. You should then connect to the Ronin with the DJI Assistant. Select motor and tap auto-tune stability. The Ronin will then calculate optimal motor strength and other internal settings to adapt the weight and position of your camera. Finally, take the Ronin off the stand and test it.